ready to finish off the second to last night under the lights here in Budapest with the women's 4x100 meter relay. I'm with a group of girls who I am normally competing against all year. And then now we're on a relay together where we're actually teammates and competing with one another. So it's an interesting dynamic that you kind of have to shift your mindset a little bit. You're no longer competitors. Now you're truly teammates. I said I was going to take my little bow off, but I'm not. I'm keeping my little butterfly up there. Let me float it like one. The USA girls were sitting actually right next to the Jamaican girls, and, and that's kind of the big rivalry. It's, it's Team USA women and these Jamaican women because we just have amazingly talented, fast women who are running historic times right now. How much of a rivalry is it? You have to go back to 2003 to find the last time that a team not Jamaica or the United States won this event at Worlds. That's a full 20 years. And so the tensions are, are pretty high. Um, everyone's, you know, everyone's friendly, but we understand that it's a very serious competition and that we're going to have to bring our A game. Gabby Thomas, who got the silver in the 200 meters last evening, she'll handle the third leg. And for the third time in these world championships, we see a Shakiri Richardson, Sharika Jackson, head to head for gold. <laughs> Gotta love it. Standing on anchor leg, you literally see, you watch the entire race. So as I'm seeing the race going on, I went from nervous to ready, to confident, to action. I'm on this opposite end of the track, uh, completely opposite to where Tamari, our first leg, is starting. So I can barely see her, but I hear the gun go off. Let's go, the final of the women's 4x100 meter relay. And I see her hand off to TT. I see it's a little bit shaky. Whoa! But honestly, at this point, I'm not concerned because I know we can, we can bring it back. Jamaica and the U.S. down the back stretch. Look at Shelly Ann Fraser Price go. But it's a good run from T.T. Terry. At that point, I'm just focusing on doing my own job. And she's focusing on doing her own job. And her job is to get the baton in my hand. And my job is to leave on time. Our handoff was a little shaky, too. Now the Jamaicans have taken the lead. It's up to Gabby Thomas to close the gap. Gabby Thomas up against Shasha Lee Forbes. And then Gabby just falling on that curve. And then my job was to get it into Shakari's hand because we had to make some last minute adjustments for the relay. Shakari and I had not practiced handing off to one another because originally I was second leg. We really had to have trust in each other in that moment. Thomas gets the lead, gives it to Shakari Richardson. The best feeling was watching Shakari run away with that baton. I knew we had it. I told her to go. I said, just go, take off, go, go, go. I knew, I knew I had to do what I had to do. And it was just like, I'm not gonna get walked down, I'm not gonna get ran down. I'm gonna bring another girl home for US. I gave the baton to her in the lead, and I just know Shakari as a competitor is not gonna blow that lead. Making sure I had the stick, and that was it, it was a wrap. It's Shakari and Sharika, the USA in front. Exactly. Nobody's catching Shakari Richardson! It's gold for the United States! The teamwork on that relay was really phenomenal. Everyone did exactly what they were supposed to do. Shakari and I, despite having the least practice, had, I think, the best handoff, and it was really successful. Despite our height difference, <laughs> despite not working together, we made it work. So Shakari Richardson got the baton at the same time, but she was further out in the zone. And that was a masterful leg Ooh, by Shakari Richardson to hold in. off the 200 meter champion. She had no answer for Shakari. Cross the finish line. I'm already like adrenaline's pumping. I'm excited. And, you know, I'm, I'm coming across the line kind of fast, but I started to slow down. And then I see the gentleman coming around the bank because I didn't know. I knew that we were going to have victory that, but I saw them coming towards me. Um, and it kind of just made me excited all over again, the fact that they did, they just won, and we just won too. So instead of slowing down, kind of like sped up into them, adrenaline started pumping again like another race, and yeah, Christian was just, you know, collateral damage. <laughs> I 
I got to share my victory and my success and my hard work with everyone there. There were so fast, many people man. there to support, to show love, and to, and to see me compete, to see us all compete. Um, it's such just an empowering feeling. I had my friends and family there, and there's also this great sense of pride of competing for your country, competing for USA, and seeing all of these fans there to celebrate. Um, it's something that is so much bigger than us. Um, as athletes, something that is representative of the entire country, of everyone who loves and supports us all year long. And so to be able to do that victory lap and, and share those emotions with them is, is truly, truly special. And then when I saw that we had a championship record, I said, huh? I mean, it's a championship record, so it's hard to compete with that. The fact that we barely even practice, like we barely, and then like you could see, you know, our wow. and stuff. Like that was a phenomenal race, only knowing that we're gonna get so much better. What kind of shape is Team USA in heading into Paris? The answer is great. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.